Early this morning, we're off to mostly quiet start, but we're definitely still seeing some of those impacts from the ice storm. Let's take a look at how much ice was accumulated throughout our area. Rockford saw just under a 40th of an inch, 20th of an inch in both Freeport and Mount Morris. DeKalb ended up seeing a quarter of an inch of ice, so definitely still going to see that across our area on those trees, branches, and even power lines. Good news is we are no longer under that ice storm warning. We have been updated to a winter weather advisory or downgraded, I should say. Stevenson, Joe Davies, Carroll, and your southern Wisconsin counties may see a little bit of freezing drizzle, bringing an additional ice accumulation of a very light glaze. So you may still see slick spots this morning, and those a little bit further to the southeast are under a dense fog advisory. This is for DeKalb County, visibility dropping less than a quarter of a mile at times, and the rest of us still potentially seeing some of that fog. As of right now, on exact track, not picking up a whole lot of that freezing drizzle. We saw a little bit of it here on exact track just an hour ago or so as we will continue to see that threat through the morning. That advisory does expire at 9 a.m. and we're definitely still seeing a little bit of that activity on the roadways. You could see partly covered roads within our state line counties, mostly covered up into southern Wisconsin and some of us already seeing improvements in Carroll, Whiteside, Lee and DeKalb counties. Taking a look outside of our WRX camera here in Winnebago, definitely seeing a lot of that fog. You can see some of that ice on those branches. Can't really see much past them. Taking a look at visibility, definitely seeing that impact across much of our area. Down to about a mile for visibility in Rockford, half a mile for Rochelle, and under half a mile for DeKalb. So definitely going to notice a little bit of that patchy fog as you head out the door. Another reason to give yourself just a little extra time. After all is said and done, the advisories will expire. We'll then turn our attention to some breezy conditions. As early as 10 a.m. this morning, your winds will gust over 30 miles an hour, peaking closer to noon as they then slowly start to drop off through the rest of our day today. However, we will still stay breezy even through tonight. So along with a little bit of that ice still accumulating on some of those branches and power lines from yesterday, as that wind intensifies, we may still see those branches break and fall, even potentially seeing some of those power lines falling as well. Make sure you are staying away from any of those downed power lines. They may still be active. Otherwise, you may also so still see some of those slick spots on the road. So keep that in mind early this morning, and we're also going to be in for a little bit of a cooler day. Along with those breezy conditions may make feels uh, make temperatures feel a little bit cooler as they will drop into the lower teens today. As we head into tomorrow, we'll end up dropping into the mid 20s, a little bit of a cooler end to your week, but sunshine in the 40s return through the weekend and then your most accurate 10 day forecast. We'll see rain showers returning into Monday along with the low 50s. And for